are taken with some suspicion on this side because uh, that has not demonstrated, has not been shown in, in this bill and some other bills in this legislature. And in fact, uh, the items that uh, uh, the senator listed, there are actually some items of contention there. The data sharing has always been an item of contention. Well, and uh, so that there's not agreement on all that list that Senator Alcoff had mentioned. And my concern is, is that you're just trying to undermine the will of the voters uh, by this particular bill here. And, 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 and Senator, I appreciate your skepticism. Uh, you and I have known each other for a lot of years, and, and uh, as you know, you might heard when I, when I left the uh, House of Representatives, I mentioned you in my remarks. I said, uh, boy, I, I never thought I could, I think my quote at the time was, I, I never thought I could meet anybody uh, farther to the left of me than Senator Skindle, and then I met, Sen or, and then I met Representative Foley. And, uh, but, but uh, Senator, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I don't understand how we're undermining the will of, and, and, and perhaps you can explain to, this to me at another time, but I don't understand how going in and having a bunch of people file a referendum and saying, hey, we want you to hit the reset button, we want you to step back and pull this law down and come up with something different. I don't see how the, the majority party going, okay, you know, they have some valid concerns, Let, let's, let's do what they want and let's do it now instead of later. I don't see how that's a, a somehow subverting the will of the people. If anything, it's 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 listening to the people. I mean, can you imagine, Senator? Can you imagine if uh, if we go back, you know, before the Civil War, and, uh, and and something involving slavery was on the ballot, and, and you know the legislature had passed some law doing slavery, and the voters had stepped in on the referendum and said, "We want you to repeal slavery." Can you imagine anybody saying, "You know what"? I think you ought to let the people vote. Let's leave slavery in place longer until the people have a chance to vote and stuff. I, I, I just can't imagine that. I, I think when, when something's wrong and you say, all right, I want to hit the reset button, I want to listen to what these people have said and go forward, I think you ought to do it and, and you shouldn't delay. And, and I understand the political aspects, and, and, and of course, Senator, I, I know that's not, that's not your game. Uh, you're, you're talking about good government for the citizens of Ohio. I think there are those out there that, that want to play a political game on this and want to delay this for political reasons. But I think all of us, all of us in the General Assembly, we want this right for a while. And I think it's better to get it right quicker rather than later. Thank you. Other questions? Thank you.